Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for June 22nd, 2021. What do we have for today? Okay, it's right there. First and foremost, I'm feeling like a lot of people are just taking a very mellow day. Just trying to lay low <laughs> kind of thing. So what do we have? We have believe in the impossible, blue moon. You know what this feels like? You know, along with that sort of laying low kind of energy, this is where we stop and we process the information we've been given. Now, most people, it's a big statement. I'll say it again. Most people wait for the information to come from outside of them and be told. And we'll live in anger and discontentment, waiting for someone else to tell us what the truth is. You don't need that. The truth is in your untapped human potential. That's why spiritual growth is so important. Spiritual growth, spiritual awakening, ascension does not happen if you are trying to misuse it. We have too many beings that are protecting us from that. That's why you have so many, you know, very, very pompous, arrogant, I keep using this word Machiavellian, you know, how they end up getting into power and how sad it is that people still get drawn in by that. Why? The population is incredibly vulnerable right now. Of course, we're under attack. Have been for a while. Thousands of years, in fact. So yeah, we get into a weakened state. Yeah, we are programmable. And isn't it interesting that when people start to ascend, things are in here to knock us down? Think about it. When we start to grow, something comes in to knock us. What we are talking about here with believe in the impossible, I think that most impossible dream is that we could ever have peace. And that we could ever be better. And that we could actually be in a love space and connecting with each other from a beautiful place of balance, grace, and harmony. And some people might even laugh at that because they don't think that is powerful. Check with any, <laughs> check with any, uh, how do I want to say this, like uh, priestess type energy. She can be in grace, beauty, and harmony. And she arguably has the most power. It's okay to let things go. It's okay to say, you know what? I'm not going to engage in fear or control or manipulation. I see that that's of no value. I see that's, that's not even, you know, what we're originally built for, I don't think. It's become survival. Hey, there's this nasty game in place. You either eat or be eaten, <laughs> right? So that's where people start getting into these, you know, controlling little, making other people their puppets and diminishing others and being critical. And we get so brainwashed. I've been saying this for years too, where people are saying, oh my gosh, you can't take any constructive criticism. Well, that's another mind control thing. And it's, it's interesting to watch how many enablers would come in and defend somebody they were not giving, you know, constructive criticism. There was nothing helpful about what they were saying. They were just criticizing and trying to diminish someone else. And if someone set a boundary about that and said, no, 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 you're just trying to be nasty. We're not doing this. Other people, the enablers, right? And arguably they're a bigger problem than the people who are causing the actual problems are coming and going, stop it. There must be something wrong with you if you can't just take people's crap, <laughs> right? It's weird. It's so weird. And it is, it's brainwashing. It's brainwashing. But these are the things that we are starting to wake up to. And it's going to be a subtle process and that's okay. You know, all of us end up kind of dipping back into sleep a little bit just because, you know, what we're being shown might start to feel overwhelming as we go back to what we've always known. So be patient with yourself and others, but just start to, you know, really start to kind of allow 
whatever's flowing through you to come through, okay, without shutting it out. And there could be some amazing miracle that we see. All right. So we're going to leave it there, guys. If you are enjoying this content, please make sure that you are subscribed. If you would like to get a personal reading with me, including an Akashic Records reading, people have been asking about that. Go to my website at angelsouls444.com. You won't see an Akashic Records option. Just choose whatever time length you want and put in the submission form that that's what you want. Okay, that won't have cards with it. It's an Akashic Records reading. So there's that. And of course, the Archangel Metatron Meditation Challenge, the Archangel Michael Meditation Challenge. They're timeless. You can join those whenever you want. Those are over at gumroad.com slash angelsouls. Thank you so much for your time. I love each and every one of you. Take care.